Hey world, this is Roxy and today I wanted to talk to you guys about just different ways that we can deal better with emotional and sort of sensitive people out there because there's a lot of emotional sensitive people out there and the reason I'm bringing this topic up is because I am one of them and I never used to be so sensitive and emotional I just sort of let everything slide and didn't want to make a big deal about stuff and you know and things happen and I've changed and I've become a lot more sensitive over time and so I've realized that a lot of people don't always know how to deal with me when I have my emotional moments emotional days emotional weeks uh, where I'm just extra sensitive and everything really affects me and so uh, basically the main thing that can really help someone who's sensitive and emotional is is knowing that you don't have to help them necessarily you don't have to know the solution you don't have to know exactly what to say to them you know the main thing is allowing the person to just go through their emotions um, you just sitting with them just sitting with that person as they cry if someone starts crying if people cry all the time it doesn't mean that they need therapy just because someone gets emotional and they're angry um, or they blame someone for something it doesn't mean that they need therapy and that's a definite way to make someone feel like you don't really want to listen go to therapy go talk to someone else about this a professional so someone can help you but no one can help you no one can really help you besides your, yourself but what does help though is when you have people in your life who support you in a way where they just see you and they're like hey you know you're going through shit I'm, I'm here like let me know like if I can give you a hug or just be there for you like what you're going through it sucks you know just sympathize like be compassionate with people to be able to sit with them for longer than five minutes if you can't deal with more than five minutes of crying or five minutes of emotion then you're obviously uncomfortable with emotions in general and so if you have you know a child or a friend that just always continuously comes to you with emotional issues and all that you know let them be just let them talk about it until they don't want to talk about it anymore let them go through it until they don't, can't go through it anymore until they're ready to move on you know um yeah you have a life too and you don't want to deal with these people shit because it's like oh they keep bringing up the same subjects the same things. can't they just get over it well they can't get over it until they've actually felt it they've actually gone through it they've actually experienced it so you really just have to like let people be them and even if they're negative negative it's it's not negative or positive you don't have to decide how they're acting you don't have to be like oh you used to be so positive and now you're like this and now you're different and just get it together it's emotions it's good you know it's if you no know, that's them you know like don't don't look down on them or make them feel like they can't just feel you know, there's so many times, like, I just, oh, I just want to cuss. I just want to say. <laughs> okay, I'm breathing. I'm getting through it. Like, you don't have to do anything. Just be, just be there with that person. Just be willing to help, but be willing to listen for, for, for days, for weeks, maybe for months. Maybe they went through something so traumatic, they need months and months and months of just talking about it. They don't need therapy, they just need someone who actually cares to listen for two seconds. <sighs> More than two seconds. Like, don't have so much ADD, people. Don't be so busy. Listen to your friends, listen to your children. Let them cry, hold them. The best thing you can do is hold someone, hug them. Be like, I don't know what to do, can I give you a hug? Yeah.